Speaking of landing parties, I'm pretty excited for tomorrow's mission to Varela too. Will the new survey tricorder settings be ready to use to scan the ancient ruins there? Our Mark 7 tricorders definitely needed new survey settings to improve efficiency, and we just finished the last of the acceptance testing yesterday. Great. Since you designed the new settings, you probably had Crew and Franks supervise the tests, right? Well, no. I supervised the testing. Franks was in the group of testers, though, along with all the rest of my subordinate historians. Oh, uh, okay. So then, you had them test the original settings alongside the new ones, so they could determine which worked best, right? The testers and I appreciated the importance of the new setup I designed being ready for tomorrow, so to save time I just had them exercise the new controls. I was anxious to see the results, so I stuck around as they used the new setup and when they filled out the questionnaires. So, what were the results of the testing of the new tricorder settings? Oh, they passed with flying colors! Excuse me, crewman. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir? The reasoning you are employing, Mr. Erickson, is not logical. In fact, you are exhibiting the observer expectancy effect, a cognitive bias. His point of view seemed reasonable. That may be so, but bias is affecting his judgment. The observer expectancy effect is when a researcher's cognitive bias causes them to subconsciously influence the participants of an experiment. This influence manifests in such ways as an experimenter subtly communicating their expectation for the outcome of the study to the participants, causing them to alter their behavior to conform to those expectations. Mr. Erickson, the experiment you described having performed with the subordinate survey team members in your division, has undoubtedly been influenced by the observer expectancy effect. Oh, really? Yes. Due to your investment in the usefulness of the new survey controls for the tricorder, you let it be known that you, who happened to be their superior, was invested in the trials proving successful, and that you had devised the new setup yourself. Such exceptional interest on the part of a researcher when one trial versus another is tested often leads to the test being influenced by the added scrutiny. In future experiments, I suggest employing a randomized controlled trial with a double-blind technique rather than an observational study in order to combat such bias. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Of course. I should rethink my test methodology. That would be best. Even if it seems that one is thinking rationally, one must always strive to avoid giving in to cognitive biases, such as the observer expectancy effect. These biases are systematic patterns of deviation from rationality and judgment, causing judgments to be made in an illogical fashion. Care must be taken to mitigate these biases to ensure proper reasoning. It's only logical 